What's up, everyone? It's Ryan with Practice Makes Perfection. Today, I'm going to make a Carco uh, tutorial in regards to doing fancy text and using different fonts. So, as you can see, they the letters will overlap if you're doing like a cursive, and it won't let you v carve this out because you have vectors that are overlapping you try to calculate it and you got intersections so you can use the vector doctor it's gonna show you what we already know that there's vectors intersecting so we need to fix this so what i figured out that you can do Maybe you guys already knew this, but uh, when you type it out, it's all one big vector. So you want to ungroup all. And that's going to separate pretty much every every line and stuff like that. So you see with that F, it doesn't have like the little loop selected. So you, when you do this, you want to make sure that the loop is not selected. So if you hit, if you click there... And click another one, doesn't do anything, so you want to hold down the shift key. Once you hold down the shift key, as you can see, it's just the outline of the F and just the outline of the, the uh, A. So then you want to go merge vectors and weld. This this is only for if there's only two vectors selected. You'll do that, and you see how it, it combines them. But if you have three, I think I demonstrate this here. Yeah, so go ahead and select all of them. And it'll just have the weld right there rather than the merge vectors. So there you have it. We turn that fancy word into one. Okay, so here's another, here's an example. So here I had the loop of the S and I welded it and you see how it got rid of it. So I hit control Z, got rid, um, undid that, and welded it. And then now I'm just going to go ahead and finish all this stuff up so that all this stuff once again i don't have like the little loop no i weld it all together comes out good and then just get this last word so this is really really easy if you want to uh get a bunch of different fonts and stuff from different websites or most of these you can just find free and I was uh, I was typing this out in GIMP and then just saving it as a photo and then doing the uh, bitmap to vector thing, but I knew there had to be a better way. So here, uh, after I fixed everything, I went back and identify. There's like a little little small intersection. That's not really an intersection. It's just a little thing. But I went ahead and tried to calculate it, and it worked out. So. I hope this helps some of you guys. If you're new to CarveCo, um, I'm still getting the hang of it. Uh, I really like it because it's cheap. Uh, I have Maker Plus, but I'm just sticking around with a, a regular one because it's cheap. And I also have like a free three-month trial thing for it too. So I got it to try out some different things with the 3D stuff that they do. Um, but I found that I didn't really use it. So that's that. Um, thanks for watching. Please, uh, subscribe if you're not and check out my website, practice makes perfection.com. See you guys later.